The NBA banned the Toronto Raptors' Jonte Porter from the, the League for Life after an investigation confirmed the player shared inside information with bettors and bet on NBA games while playing in the G League. This is the first NBA gambling ban for a player in 70 years. For more on this story, let's bring in Patrick Risch, director of the sports business program at WashU St. Louis. He's also founder and CEO of Sports Impact. Patrick, good to have you uh, on this here. So, I mean, look, when I was a kid, Major League Baseball banned Mickey Mantle and Willie Mays for life in retirement because they were greeters at a casino for a little while. Uh, obviously, we now have the leagues that are completely participating in sports betting, but they want to be able to convey that the games themselves are fair and there's no conflicts. Does this do it at this point for the NBA? I believe it does. And one thing that comes into play here is the importance of analytics and technology. The last couple of months, I've been at a couple of different conferences. The MIT Sports Analytics in Boston just came back from the Sports Business Journal's World Congress of Sports out in Los Angeles. And you can't go to any of these conferences these days and not hear about conversations about analytics and technology and their role in helping leagues like the NBA sniff out these kinds of irregularities. It was a company in Vegas, U.S. Integrity, that has a partnership with the league that provides some information that identified some of the irregularities that led to the outing of Mr. Porter. But should we just have to rely on essentially market surveillance? I mean, you know, in, in the financial markets, you have people trying to monitor for unusual activity and then they try to fill in the blanks and see what might be behind it. But you also have, uh, you know, compliance programs for the employees. You can and can't trade certain things uh, and they monitor that pretty closely. So is the, is the NBA doing anything like that where they're at the player level monitoring activity? I'm sure all of these leagues are educating players and providing information. It's difficult to track everybody's actions all the time, but I think with Commissioner Silver's coming down so hard, rightfully so, on Jonte Porter, this has to send warning signals, not just to any other NBA player, but athletes across all sports. Now, one thing that, that Commissioner Silver mentioned is the regulatory standards that perhaps when you're talking about some of these marginal players as Porter was, should there be more regulations on having these over-under bets? Because this is one of the things that tripped him up in this particular case, people betting on somebody that's a, a, a marginal player that maybe is looking to get rich quicker. Uh, I, if you take those types of prop bets out of the equation, then that hopefully further protects the league from these kinds of issues. Yeah, obviously that's something directly under the player's control is these, these single prop bets. Um, I, I guess it's been made, the case has been made that this is almost an ideal situation for the NBA to send that message that we're going to protect the integrity of the game because it was not a star player. Major League Baseball is a somewhat different situation. Obviously, it's Shohei Otani's interpreter. Uh, are we coming to a moment when people sort of more broadly scrutinize just how pervasive sports uh, gambling has become when it comes to the professionals involved? There's no question. I, I know that there are probably a lot of casual fans that are not gamblers that feel that the leagues are being somewhat hypocritical because they, 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 they want the business. They want the gambling dollars, the advertising, corporate partnerships. They also have responsible gambling messages in each of their advertisements. But some people feel that's hypocritical. Look, at the end of the day, it is a business. Europe has had robust gambling activity and partnerships for many years in the uh, in the Premier League. So this is not going away, right? right? You're not putting the genie back in the bottle, especially for all the losses that we suffered during the pandemic. This is one of the many yeah. ways to monetize and try to catch up financially.